Now we're going to do definite integration, which means that we're integrating between two x values. So as before, we're just going to integrate x cubed, which is, which is x to the 4, <coughs> divided by 4. But instead of putting plus c, we can now just say we're integrating between these two values. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute 4 in. So that's 4 to the power 4 divided by 4 plus my c value. And then we're going to subtract. We're going to substitute the number 2 in for x. So we've got 2 to the power 4 over 4 plus c. Now from here on in you're not going to keep writing plus c because you can, should be able to see from here. You've got your c, take away your c, cancels these out. So we're never going to write those again when we're doing definite integration. So my final answer is 4 to the power 4 is 256 but we're then going to divide that by 4 so we should then have just 64 minus 2 to the 4 is 16 divided by 4 is 4 and so we should have the number 60 is my answer and here's a slightly trickier version so we're going to integrate so that's x cubed over 3 plus x integrated between 2 and negative 1 so all we now have to do is substitute 2 in so we've got 2 cubed over 3 plus 2 and we're going to subtract minus 1 cubed over 3 plus minus 1 which is minus 1 so working these out we've got 8 over 3 plus 2 subtract now let's work out what's inside this bracket so that's minus 1 third minus 1 And then I've run out of board space. One second. Okay, I can continue now. So 8 thirds is 2 and 2 thirds. So that's 4 and 2 thirds. Now let's, inside this bracket, we've got minus 1 and a third. So if we're taking that, we're actually adding 1 and 1 third. And that gives me an answer in total of 4 plus 1 is 5, plus the thirds gives me 6. That's a quite a lucky one for us there. Usually you will have an answer left in fractions, but don't worry, you can use your calculator at all points within this. Your turn. Um, integrate between 3 and 2 the function 3x squared plus x dx. Right then, let's see how you got on. So first of all, you're integrating. So you've got 3x to the 3 over 3 plus x squared over 2. And you're integrating, uh, that's between the 3 and 2. So what we now have to do is substitute the values in. So we've got 3 times 3 cubed over 3 plus 3 cubed, oops, sorry, 3 squared over 2, subtract, now substitute the 2 in, 3 times 2 cubed over 3, add 2 squared over 2, and let's work those out, so that's 3 divided by 3 is 1, 3 cubed is 27, keeping it was in, in the bracket, plus 9 over 2, subtract, um, 3 divided by 3 is 3 again, so that's just 8, plus 2 squared is 4 divided by 2 is 2, so that's 10 there, 
so we're going to take 10 from our answer now 9 over 2 is 4 and a half so that's 31 and a half take away 10 gives me an answer of 21 and a half